so it's Sunday morning. I'm out on a very different bike this morning. I'm not a tired like I normally am either. There's a clue. Yeah, I'm on an E-mounted bike. <laughs> it's great. Very little effort. 15 miles an hour. Look at that. So I'm out this morning with Ian, who's on his mountain bike. But his is an acoustic one, manually powered, powered by his legs. I've got a motor. Why am I on this bike? I'll come back to that. Can you keep up, Ian? You've got to use your legs, haven't you? I have, mate. I've got old school on here, mate. It's, yeah, old uh, school. Yeah. Are you liking it, Paul? Yeah, I like it. See ya. <laughs> that could get really annoying, couldn't it? So the electronic display has three modes. Eco, that's quite nice for just riding along on the flat. Gives you a little bit of assistance, quite nice. Standard. Standards are nice all round. We're liking that. Or high. Obviously, that's the best. You just turn the pedals in high. We're away. Whee! The display shows you miles per hour. And obviously on an e-bike, they're limited to 15 and a half miles an hour where you're getting the pedal assist. So above that, it just becomes a really heavy, and I mean a really heavy mountain bike. So this is a Carrera Vengeance. 27 and a half inch wheels, eight speed cassette. A single eight speed cassette. But I guess, because you've got the electric motor with three power settings, you don't need a whole load of gears. When you come to a slight incline, not incline like this, just power up it, it's easy. I think for a leisure cyclist, this kind of bike along a canal towpath or whatever, it's fantastic. So why have I got this bike? So my friend has some health issues and uh, he's not gonna be able to ride the bike basically. So we need to get it sold for him. He's not able to work. So it's a little bit later now. I've left in. I omitted to charge the GoPro up fully. So I ran out of battery power. So just nipped home, put it on charge for a few minutes and now good to go again. E-bike, 24 miles in and we're on one bar. So 24 miles done, just go on to our last bar. But we're still all good. So what do we think to riding an e-bike then? It's the first time I've done any kind of distance and it's, it was really good fun actually, I really enjoyed it. We've done 22 miles and even on eco mode in jeans, and trainers, it was no real effort, hardly even break into a sweat. I guess that's the, uh, the beauty of a, an e-bike. If you just want to go out and get some exercise without necessarily exerting a whole lot of effort, getting some nice fresh air and sunshine, and you're not a, maybe a regular cyclist looking to do big distances, it's fantastic, love it.
So just to run you through this bike, as you can see, normal kind of uh, control around handlebars. You just press that button, up, down button to go from eco, standard to high. Power, just turn the power on and off. You can see on here, you've got three bars on there, which shows you the amount of battery power you've got left. You can also check that on the battery itself. Press that button there and the lights will light up. It has a Sun Tour motor in the back wheel. So the whole end, whole motor is within the hub there, linked to an eight speed Shimano Altus cassette. The range on these um, apparently is uh, 20, 30 to 35 miles. Um, as I mentioned, I've done just short of 25 and I'm down to, to one bar. And the majority of that going out on the ride was on standard or, or high power. And uh, I reckon that the 30, 35 is certainly achievable on the eco setting. So all in all, a really nice practical bike. My friend has fitted this uh, rack on the back. But the only downside to the bike is that there's no there's no buckle cage mounts. So what he actually did, he mounted this, and he had this little rack on the back. I know he put a bag, kept his sandwiches in there, and his water bottle. But overall, it's a really nice, comfortable bike to ride. One of the things I really like about it, and I have to keep remembering to do it, when you stop, let me show you this. Not being used to such luxuries, it's easy to forget. But when you want to leave it, it's got a stand. Flip that down. Look. It just balances. It just stays put. No leaning on a wall. On this kind of bike, but it's heavy, that is so practical. It's great. Get it going again. Flick it up. No way. I love it. It's my favourite detail, other than electric motor, of course. So what did I enjoy about riding this bike? It's great to actually ride a bike and actually do, I don't know, I'll have done 25 miles by the time I'm finished and exerted virtually no effort. So I can do it in jeans and a shirt, trainers. It's great for just that cruisy, nice ride out in the sun. So this bike is for sale. It would really help me out if you guys, if any of you are in the market for a bike or you know anybody that is in the market for an e-bike, think new for about 1100 quid, 1200 quid. This could be yours for 600 of your English pounds. I say, unfortunately, my friend has, say, a health issue where he doesn't, he's not going to be able to ride the bike anymore. And uh, he's unable to work at the moment. So the bike, the bike really needs to go. No point in it sitting in the garage. So I said I'd help him out. I've given it a clean and a service. And uh, yeah, be great. If you know anybody that's in the market, the size of frame is large, 27 and a half inch wheels. It's a Carrera Vengeance E. It's a very nice solid bike for exactly this kind of riding. I'm going to put it onto high power. See if I can get the camera close to the rear hub. See if you can hear it kicking in. So I'm on a slight rise there, pretty much no real effort, 11 miles an hour. So a very pleasant ear assisted ride in the sun. I could get used to these e-bikes, quite like it. It's the furthest I've ever ridden one. So as always, thanks for watching. See you again in a few days time. Bye for now.